Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a Shein haul. I spent $68.76, and I got some amazing items. I got like a, a whole lot of things for $67. Let's jump right in. Let me share with you what I got. So the first thing I got is a Garfield. I love Garfield, guys. I've loved Garfield since I was a little kid, and I still love him. In fact, I just um, recently got to see the new Garfield movie, and Garfield. This is all Garfield. So the first thing I'll show you, I spent a dollar sixty-five on, and it is Garfield stickers. Little uh, Garfield stickers. I'll pull out a few of them to share with y'all. Just pull out a, a little handful of them. Y'all, he is such a stinker. Isn't he cute? These seem to be a really nice quality. <laughs> How funny. All right. So that is those. There's a bunch of them in here. I don't know how many. Let's see if it says how many you get. Um, I am not seeing a quantity. So anyway, I went and just typed in Garfield in the search bar. And I, it just popped up all kinds of Garfield things. And they really weren't that expensive. Next up, I paid $1.65. This is a, like, straw topper. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Guys, we went to the Disney movie. I mean, to the Garfield movie. And they were supposed to have, like, like a treat box. And it has supposed to have, like, a Garfield plush and drinking popcorn and it was supposed to have something similar to this and um they didn't have um so i thought well since i saw the water the straw cover i wanted to go ahead and purchase it next up is a keychain it was a dollar 75 i won't use it as a keychain because um my car's keyless entry but um so i don't have a keychain on my on my fob but look, oh my goodness, look at him. Here's Odie. And then just a little name plaque. I can't do it right. Okay, there we go. Garfield. Oh, that's backwards. Oh, darn. Okay, there we go. So stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love Garfield, guys. Ah, the next thing I spent a dollar forty-seven on, and it is a little notepad. It's kind of chintzy for almost a dollar fifty. You don't get very many, but they're cute, and I got them anyway. And then a last, the last of the Garfield items is a little sticker pack. It was a dollar fifty-six. And you get, well, that's good. You get two different sets of stickers. That's fun. All right. So that is all the Garfield items. Next up, I got some beads. They were each 75 cents a pack. So I got these. I want to do some beadable pins. I have a bunch of Disney adorables that I want to make into beaded pins. So I did buy some things from Shein. And I also have some things on their way coming from Timu. So I got those. Like I said, they were each $0.75 cents a, peach and a piece. And they're the 20mm. I hope they work. I don't know. We'll see. Next up are some Disney stickers. Um, this pack was $1.75. I'll share it with you a couple out of this pack. I love the stickers. I love stickers. I've loved stickers for a long time since I was a little girl. And um, 
I oh, don't really like these kind of stickers though. I like the more like that. Anyway, here's Rapunzel. Belle and Snow White. Those are nice. So and we've got a bunch of those. A pack full. It doesn't say how many you get, and I don't remember, but you get quite a bit. So you get quite a few stickers there. Another little pack of Disney stickers. This was a dollar sixty-one. They did seem to be different ones. Cinderella. Mm. Tiana. Belle. Ariel. Anyway, they seem to be nice. They are, um, you know, Disney logoed. So, get quite a bit of these as well. Get them put back in here. And then the next set of stickers that I got is uh, more along the lines of like Mickey Mouse and Friends, not Disney Princess. And it was a dollar ninety three for this pack. I'm just gonna see. Here's the packaging. And I don't know that I really like the colors of these stickers. They're not like your traditional colors. They're cute though. The colors are kind of throwing me off though, a little bit. That one's the right colors. He's cute. Oh, I, I guess I think I shared that one upside down. It goes like that maybe, huh? That's cute. Anyway, guys, that is it for these stickers. They're cute. They really are cute. Nice quality. So, and you get quite a bit of them for less than two bucks. All right. So that is all that style of things that I got. The next thing I got is probably some new shirts. So let's see. So I was told to, to um, get shirts off the Shein Curve, Curve department because they're for, you know, a little like plus size i'm kind of marginally not plus size but i i would be like a large extra large but in some of these brands you need to go up a size so i got everything in a 1x the first shirt i got was three dollars and 93 cents and it is a super cute i'm hoping i mean i haven't opened them yet but I, from the from the page it looked really cute a little giraffe blowing a big old bubble. The uh, material is kind of interesting. It's kind of, um, I don't know. It, it's really soft, kind of interesting. Anyway, I thought that was super cute. And the price was amazing. The next shirt I got was $7.14. Oh, this one even even has paper. Look at this fun a summer shirt. A little vintage western theme. Really cute. Look at that. Too cute. And um, like I said, I did get them in the Shein Curve One X. This shirt was $9.88. These are just good for work. I don't, I'm gonna have to try them on. See how they're kind of flared at the bottom? I don't, I don't necessarily need my shirts flared at the bottom. 
but it's a nice quality shirt. The material feels nice. The next one I got was $7.13. This is the only shirt that looks like it's a mess inside the bag. The rest of them, I don't know if the shirt was returned or why it's all crumpled up in its bag. All the rest of them were neatly folded, but this one was just a hot mess. If I didn't say $7.13, it is the kind of style I like where it gets a little smaller on the bottom. It is see-through. I don't like that because that means I have to wear an undershirt. And if you have to put on an undershirt under something, it really adds a little bit of pounds on you. But we'll see. Got that one. Next one was $8.70. paper this one's cute oh this one's really big ah i love the fluorescent florals on it it is a really big shirt uh extra uh one x but it is it's really big so we'll have to see about that that may be just too big who knows sometimes the sizing can be deceiving Next up is a cute shirt. It was $8.51 if I didn't say. And this one reminds me of my childhood. Look at that. How cute. Do you I had this these little print on my baby bed as a as a baby. Do y'all remember that? They would put these like on um baby beds and like high chairs and stuff. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Super cute. All right, and then the last shirt is a repeat of another shirt, but it is black. And it was also 714, the same as the cream colored shirt, but I also got it in black. is it's cute i love the vintage western theme on it so cute all right guys we'll take these shirts to my room and i'll try them on and give y'all my opinion and we'll see how they fit here's shirt number one a super cute soft shirt i'm not a big fan of how they kind of flare at the bottom but of course they haven't been washed so they may um you know calm down a little bit when i wash it but it's super super cute and you can always you know kind of give it a tuck not quite that tight but y'all get the picture you can give it a little tuck and take up some of that slack here's this shirt it is absolutely not my favorite it's a little shorter it's kind of fitting a little strange right here I almost like if I have it on backwards, but I don't. I don't know. I definitely would not dry this shirt because I don't want it to shrink any shorter. And I would pair it with a pair of darker denim shorts. Shirt number three. I like it, guys. It is that really soft material, kind of like the first one with the giraffe. It is still a little flary here on the bottom, probably because... It is from like the plus section, but like I say, you can, you know, sweep it up and uh, take up some of that slack. I think it's a great, great little shirt. It does have the V-neck -neck, and I like that as well. Here's the next shirt. I love the way it fits up here. It is really tight across my stomach, which I know it's supposed to be because it's gathered, but I wish it wasn't quite as tight. I would definitely wash this and not dry it and try to give it a little stretch. I'm not digging all this. No. Here's the black one of the um, first shirt that I tried on. I seem to like the fit of this one a little, little better, I think, because it's black. I don't like that it's, sh it needs to be like just a tad bit longer, maybe like, you know, a half an inch or something. Definitely will not be drying this one. And um, 
I don't know. It's cute. So I'll just have to see how I like it once it washes and then I'll air dry it. I love the vintage Western motif. It's, it's just awesome. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed the haul portion of the video and the try on. This is a non-sponsored video. I didn't say that at the beginning. I paid for everything that I'm sharing with y'all with my own money. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.